In this example, we'll use node voltage analysis methods to find this current IS. For that, we're given two nodes, V1 and V2. There's a voltage source, 10 volts across those nodes, and the reference node is given down here. So that makes this node right here a super node. It becomes a super node. Just like a regular node, for a super node, KCL or Kirchhoff's current law still holds. So any current coming in and out of the super node must, so any current going into the super node must equal current coming out of the super node. So let's, let's write down all the currents coming in and out of the super node. Call this I3. Now I3 goes around and also comes back. So if you look carefully, I3 is coming out. So I3 is coming out of that node. At the same time, it's also going back into the node. So for super node one, for super node one, we can write a couple of things. V1 minus V2. So write down the voltage equation. V1 minus V2 is equal to 10. That is our first expression. Our second equation is KCL at super node 1. Okay. By doing KCL at super node 1, we can say the currents coming out of super node 1 must equal current going into super node 1. So let's find out the current going into super node 1. The way I've drawn the, uh, the directions of the current, here's I3. So I3 goes around this wire, comes back into the node. So the current coming in is I3 plus this current right here, the 1 amp current, 1, is equal to, is equal to, is equal to the total current coming out of the node, so which is I1 plus I2. So that's what we have as well as I3, which is also coming out of that end of the node. So we have I3 both on the left-hand side and I3 on the right-hand side. So we can, we can rewrite this as I1 plus... So we can rewrite this as I1 plus I2 equals 1. Now I1 can be written as V1 minus 0 divided by 5. In other words, V1 divided by 5. I2 can be written as V2 minus 0 divided by 10. So V2 over 10 equals 1. Now I have two equations. Equation 1 and equation 2. Now if we solve these two equations, we'll get, by solving those two equations, we'll get V1 equals 6.67 volts and V2 will be equal to minus 3.33 volt. You can solve these two equations by hand, calculator, or using your favorite uh, programs such as MATLAB. Okay. Now that we figure out V1 and V2, how do you find IS? Now IS, right, IS, we can write down. In order to find IS, we look at, let's concentrate on node V1. Now at that node V1, at node V1, the total current coming out of that node is IS plus I1 plus I2 is equal to zero. In other words, IS can be written as can be written as oh sorry IS plus I1 plus I3 is equal to 0, not I2. So IS can be written as minus I1 plus I3. I1 is V1 over 5. I3, where is I3, is right here. So it's V1 minus V2 divided by 5. Now, this can be written as 
I1, a B1 is 6.67 divided by 5 plus V1 minus V2 right here is equal to 10, so 10 divided by 5. So what we get is a total of minus 1.33 minus 2, so a total of minus 3.33 amps. So we get a total of 3.33 amps as this current I is going towards the positive side of that 10 volt voltage supply.